the government has bitten the bullet the ordinance on rape laws is being pushed through what will this mean for women out on the streets of india joining us on this broadcast now is prashant bhushan one of india's uh, foremost lawyers he's been tracking the story very closely also former chairperson of the national commission for women dr purnima adwani ranjana kumari uh, is joining us well known social activist and kartike sharma is at raisina hill tracking what the cabinet has been doing very carefully but before i go across to our experts to try and understand what the government has done i want to go across to first try and get you a sense of what is it that the government has actually decided to do let's just take you through some of the key recommendations of uh, the ordinance that have actually been accepted justice verma you would remember in his uh, recommendations that put together several sweeping recommendations let's take our viewers through some of the recommendations that have been accepted number 1 punishment for gang rape up to 20 years going up to the life of a person natural life of a person earlier the punishment was much lesser it's now been extended up to 20 years death by hanging in the rarest of rare cases if the person is reduced to a vegetative state uh, there can be death by hanging death sentence has been accepted this is a big change at a time when the whole world is moving away from the death sentence the cabinet has agreed in the rarest of rare cases when the person is reduced to a vegetative state there will be death by hanging 10 years prison for public servant whose duty failure leads to rape somebody a public servant failing in his duty uh, can be sentenced to 10 years in prison let's take you through some of the other proposals in this ordinance enhancing the punishment for disrobing a woman that's point number 4 that's been accepted by dr manmohan singh's cabinet immediate increase in compensation for rape survivors that's proposal number 5 1 to 5 years in jail if a public official hinders investigation a very strong message being sent to public officials who often in the past we've seen have tried to get a rape victim married uh, to the accused trying to work out such settlements which uh, the, which the cabinet says they don't want and also defining the def, defining stalking and voyeurism which was earlier a gray area not clearly defined that's now been taken care of uh, i want to go across to kartike sharma kartike we've seen these proposals when do they come into action until yesterday the government was saying we are mulling various options we don't know which one will finally be accepted so how is it that the government finally decided that an ordinance should indeed be brought in the the dda is uh, monday rahul monday morning by 10:15 by 11 uh, this ordinance will be promulgated uh, i was uh, I was told by my sources that the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh had a word with uh, Sushil Kumar, Shinde Home Minister, and Ashwini Kumar uh, yesterday evening, and told them very categorically, Rahul, that they must work on certain areas which which is not being covered by the Standing Committee of the Parliament, taking care of the Criminal Amendment Bill. And he told them that the the issues which are beyond the remit of those Standing Committee, which does not invite parliamentary propriety or the issues of breach. must be immediately amended and all those issues were compiled by the mha and i think the best part was that for now at least the law has been amended now the people who people who indulge in such violent act can be imprisoned for the lifetime not for 14 years but full lifetime okay union law minister ashwini kumar is reacting to the government's decision to bring about this anti rape ordinance let's listen to what the union minister is the cabinet has decided to recommend to honor the president the promulgation of an ordinance ek bar fir so which will contain the original provisions of the criminal law amendment ordinance that was being considered by the standing committee of parliament and will also contains most of the recommendations of the gs verma committee we believe that this is a progressive piece of legislation and is consistent with the felt sensitivities of the nation in the aftermath of the outrageous uh, and most brutal uh, incident in delhi the government saying it's moving with purpose and resolve and i want to get our experts to comment on this let's take it one by one i want to get prashant bhushan you know the government was accused of dragging its feet not moving fast enough now they've shown some resolve prashant do you think the government needs to be lauded for having moved so fast and actually brought about this key ordinance prashant well <clears throat> they have certainly moved with alacrity on some of the recommendations but if you see the verma committee recommendations as a whole 
the main thrust of the recommendations were on implementation of the existing laws mm -hmm. strengthening the implementation machinery and that is why their stress was on police reforms making police more accountable making uh, uh, putting in place these police complaints authorities which are independent of the government uh, uh, making the functioning of the police more transparent by having these uh, uh, video cameras recording uh, the uh, persons who are coming to make their complaints about these things and of course judicial reforms though, though the verma committee did not say that much about judicial reforms but obviously in implementing uh, these laws the judiciary is a very very key element and today one of the problems is that uh, these cases drag on for many years and they don't get uh, concluded early enough or don't get uh, concluded satisfactorily okay. by competent judges who are accountable etc those are the reforms which are much more urgent than these uh, changes though some of the changes in these are important particularly the change about fixing command responsibility for those officers who uh, because of negligence allow rape to happen etc this is a very important uh, provision but otherwise uh, enhancing the punishment in some of these cases etc these to my mind are not as important as as systems for implementing existing ranjana kumari is the government responding to mere judiciary. tokenism to uh, to assuage the and to basically calm down tempers to make pe people feel that some action has been taken or do you believe the government needs to be lauded for having pushed this ordinance through in record time for feeling the pulse of the people and responding to the anger on the street well rahul certainly this is to cool the heat that is uh, what the government is trying to do but uh, let us see what really this or i mean i haven't read it and i haven't seen it so let me not go into the details of what but what you reported in other channel that i was on a di discussion uh, the most important thing is that what they have picked picked from the uh, verma commission report which is a very comprehensive report it talks about the attitude it talks about the law it talks about the implementation as prashant said and uh, in from the law point of view they have just taken up some of it just by changing the definition of uh, rape is not going to be really helpful unless it is going to be really implemented and it gets grilled into the minds of law enforcement uh, agencies and also criminal justice system at large now other thing is about the uh, either taking up the issue in terms of just uh, talking about uh, you know s some of the issues which are extremely uh, difficult for this government to accept are the issues of changing people's representation act for example you know people, uh, politicians sitting with impunity in the houses of representatives uh, by uh, after uh, you know sexual offence charges have been leveled against them the the men in uh, uniform and they going uh, you know doing things with impunity same thing is about uh, rape in marriage so all those things except what is laudable about it is that you know punishment framework has been definitely accepted and it has been turned into life and also left a lot of discretion uh, to judiciary and this is the same judiciary which gives 2 years 3 years not even 7 year Im imprisonment to uh, in the existing cases majority of the cases people have got away with 2 3 4 years so you know if you want to bring in all this with the same set of people and without any implementation assurance and also uh, doing anything you know putting your uh, money or resources on table to get all these things uh, you know streamlined uh, Uh, gender training happening gender sensitization happening at every level all that then in that sense purnima adwani is the government the, uh, guilty you know, just a lollipop picking up you you're calling it a lollipop because the really contentious issues of changing the people's representative act changing uh, afspa in those critical recommendations of the justice verma committee uh, report have been uh, have been left aside Do you think the government is basically just responding to public anger and showing that at least something has been done? There is no doubt about it that it is the outrage of people on the streets that the government has responded to and it has responded to rather swiftly. But it's very interesting when you analyze the kind of provisions or whatever are the points raised in the ordinance 
they are those which will not directly impact the parliamentarians so if it's people's representation act it's left untouched if it is issues of marital rape it's left untouched if it's the major issue of implementation many a times it has been said even if the law is left unamended but whatever are the provisions are properly implemented much can be done and it must be implemented within a timeline nothing of that can change with this ordinance which does not approach this subject no very important is police autonomy let them do their work i mean if it's a political person with political power money power who commits a rape he is going to be left Immediately, where is the question of penalty? No, but Prashant, are we all being overly fact, cynical and overly critical? The fact is, those contentious issues could not have been resolved in a couple of days. The government has at least achieved a basic consensus, moved ahead, brought this ordinance on what was acceptable to all. The other issues so, they haven't so re they haven't rejected. They're saying they will be dealt with over time, but at least they've responded to the anger on the street. They're showing. that they care about the people and will respond to their concerns prashant you say they have responded to the anger on the streets by making a show that they are doing something so they have brought they have decided to bring an ordinance which puts in place some of the things <clears throat> which to my mind are not as important as many of the other things police reforms has been pending in this country for the last more than 30 years more than 6 and a half years ago the supreme court had given binding directions about these police reforms all those directions have been reiterated by the verma committee now what was the difficulty in implementing those they have already been pending for more than 6 and a half years what was the difficulty in that i mean uh, representation of people act you say this is contentious uh, armed forces special powers act this is contentious marital rape this is contentious so <clears throat> police reforms this is not contentious police reforms has been pending for so many years why is that not at the end done? of it all rajna kumari do you think pending? india will be a safer place to some extent at least for women or do you think this ordinance will actually make no difference at all well rahul uh, let me tell you that you know justice verma himself said that you know no government official even came and took the whole process seriously and made any kind of uh, suggestion late night somebody came and delivered when it was already edited so and also prime minister did not even respond after a week he writes a letter then he does not even receive this uh, report so all that was creating an environment in the country that look here is something which is very serious here is some very very good report very piece good piece of comprehensive <laughs> Uh, suggestions which have come and nobody is paying any attention so in within without any i don't think any even cabinet ministers who were sit, sitting there have read this report you know it is 637 pages and i don't think they have even looked at what they are talking about something has been picked up which are convenient which uh, you know needed to be you know which, which didn't hurt anybody and also which has been part of something well, which has been pending for 6 it, and a half years it's one of those situations parliament. when you so, can okay, look at the glass with a half me. full so or half me. empty either you can say this is a step in the right direction Where or you can say all three of our guests disagree you know All three of our guests disagree. We no. don't want to sit in on judgment. Purnima Adwani wants to make one quick final comment before I end this. Purnima, very quickly, please. I'm out of time. You see, Rahul, if this is going to be followed by a proper debate in Parliament and meaningful changes, Absolutely. it would be most welcome. But what, the, the danger that always happens with these interim measures is that once having shown the, the, uh, the country at large that we mean something. Then again, there is a candid silence. That's very important. I hope that doesn't happen. You know, and this time we reach some logical conclusion. What you're saying That's is very, very important. important. I'm only urging that we don't be over cynical. That we continue to engage. We continue to pressure so that the government, which has responded in the manner that it has, understands that more needs to be done. Otherwise, not. If there's too much cynicism, probably nothing will happen. But the government needs to know there is more pressure. More needs to be done, and we need to keep our eyes. squarely trained on them prashant bhushan and kumari purnima adwani for joining us on the show with your first reactions on the government's ordinance on the rape law thank you very much